Hey, hey, monkeys! How you doing? Damien Keys here. I talk to musicians a lot about session playing. Lots of musicians want to be session players and, and lots of them want to be studio session players. They want to play on albums and they want to be in the studio all the time recording. If you want to do that, firstly, we need to be looking long term. We need to be looking at potentially 10, 15, 20 year plan because you are competing with the best of the best in a very, very narrow field. But it can be done if you're prepared to think about this long term Test yourself as a musician all the time, networking, meeting people, gigging, getting better as a musician. But there is one thing, I talk a lot about recording yourself as a musician and getting content out there. But a second reason for other than getting the content out there is self growth and your own experience. The more you're recording yourself, the more you're listening to your own playing and how you can actually improve that. And I think that is very, very important for your self growth as a musician. As a bass player, I would love to have played on loads of albums, but the reality is, is I just haven't had that experience as a bass player. But if you look at it, I've probably done 1,500 to 2,000 gigs as a bass player. So when it comes down to doing gigs, I'm really good at gigs because I can problem solve on gigs. I know about sound, I know about venues, I know about dealing with people and sound engineers and all that kind of stuff. When it comes to doing gigs, I've put the time and the effort in to become an expert in my field at gigging at bass. However, recording bass, very, very different thing. I know it doesn't feel like it, but it is a very different thing. I've probably been in the studio in my career probably 30 or 40 times. Now, if you match up 1,500 to 2,000 gigs versus 30 times in the studio, you can see the difference in experience between my gigging experience and my recording experience. So if you want to get good at recording and you want to become that, that recorded musician and play on albums, you need to record yourself all of the time so you can get better and better and you're experiencing different problems that you've got. You're improving sounds, you're, you're thinking about frequencies, you're thinking about parts, you're thinking about arrangement. That is the way to actually get ahead and become a studio musician as well as networking and all that kind of stuff. You've got to get good at recording. So if you record every day, in a couple of years, you'll have recorded yourself a thousand times. Now I've just said about 1500 to 2000 gigs, that is a lot. If you've done a thousand recordings of yourself, that is a lot, and all of a sudden you are building experience. So I want you to record yourself every day so you can listen to yourself, you can look at your growth, you can look at the experience, but also you can just build the content and show exactly what you can do as a recorded musician. Have a think about it and I'll see you guys tomorrow.